Welcome back to Studio Chatter. Like many places we like to visit, the Family History Center has been closed. Well, that has changed. Welcome Tara Lynn Parker with all the news to our table. Hi, Tara Welcome Lynn. back. Hello. Thank you. I'm so happy to be here. You and I'm so happy we're open. You're a wealth of knowledge <laughs> to only be here two months ago and back again with some a totally new topic. I was just thinking that yeah. when you sat down, I think I told you that. Like, when were you just here? And it was literally yeah. just a couple months ago, which is just exciting. February. That means we're opening up with good stuff. Yes, I love it. It's very so exciting. Tell us, what is new down there? You've been closed for, what, 15 months? Yes, since last March, it has okay. been oh closed. I know, it's that been so long. Was so long. Was it like 10 years ago? Yeah. <laughs> but I'm so excited because we're open now, and it's actually one of the few in Utah that's open. Oh, really? And um, there's new hours. I've already been in once, and it's just exciting to see people coming in and... There's lots of virtual Spanish high pork. I feel like we're really proactive about Ahead of the curve yep, on everything. Yeah, we are. We yeah. are. <laughs> okay, yeah. so tell us first, where is the Family History Center? It is on Main Street. It's on like 420, right next to the Nebo District offices. Okay. It's that cute little building, the historic building there. Okay. So, yeah. You can walk in. If you have a bigger group, you can um, like call and do a class, but you can really just stop So you're by. doing okay. groups and everything, not just individualized like res reserve times, like it's kind of first oh. come? Yes, yes. Okay. Like I, I was so excited. I was there when it opened the first day. <laughs> there were some records that I wanted to look at. So you can just drop in. It's open from 9 to 6, okay. um, Monday through Thursday. And then Friday, um, it's from 10 to 1. Um, but if there's a specific consultant, because we have these amazing consultants who all have their own um, like areas of expertise. Oh. So if you wanted to t talk with a specific person, you can um, kind of call ahead and make an appointment if you want. Wow. Um, what it, are the specifics? Like, what are like some of the designated like yeah. knowledges, I guess, of it? Mm -hmm. Well, there's um, people who specialize in all the like the different countries. Like we have someone who's really good at oh. like French research or um, like research from the Netherlands, or if there are specific programs, like if you love to dig into the newspapers, um, we have different consultants who are all oh. really good at that type of thing. Yeah, it seems yeah. like heavy. <laughs> like, so heavy. I'm like, where would I start? Oh, no, right. Right. Yeah. Well, there's a class that goes on on Tuesday. Is there's yes. a my history class? Tell us about that class. Yeah, it's really fun. We have just the one class right now, and it's my life stories, and um, it's really fun because it isn't heavy, and right. we all have a story. And you go in, and it's kind of like a writers group, or like. Think of it more as like a book club. Okay. Like you go in and there's Ooh, like, my like a book club. <laughs> so you go in and there's like a, a prompt or a question and you are just writing your own life story in like bite-sized oh. manageable bits. And I know like we have amazing stories from this past year. Mm -hmm. Like I was thinking on the way over here, I'm like, I bet Stacy could tell a billion stories about like <laughs> What do you do in a city <laughs> well, during a pandemic? And I tried to keep up on my journaling. I mean, not that I journal every week even, but a couple times a month. And I went back to read last March's entry. I was like, too soon. I don't even want to read. We're going yeah. into the pandemic. I can't do it. So I love that you're encouraging journaling. Tell us about the DNA kits. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. So, so we just had Mother's Day and Father's Day is coming up. Okay. Um, DNA kits can make such an easy um, gift for mom right. and dad. Like I'm always like, what am I going to get my in-laws? I don't know what they want or need. Um, but you can get them a DNA kit or you can get it for yourself. I was really interested to find out what my, okay. my DNA was and what percentages I had mm -hmm. from different countries. But so you take the DNA kit to test and you get the information back and it's like well now what do I do with it right like, right that was interesting but what do I do with it and so you can come into the family history center and some of our experts can kind of walk you through it and okay so you don't and, sell the kits there it's just oh no no go no. through like yeah, wherever. Like That's pretty interesting. That'd be cool. I like a little yeah. saliva still on yeah. and everything. Yeah. Yeah. Take it off, you take it. And then you have a test on the yeah. side. Yeah. Just do good. it all in one. So you're saying just bring the results in to yeah. dive deeper into your DNA. Yeah. Okay. yeah. So you can do like ancestry, my heritage. Okay. They all have great ones. And then you just bring your test results back in and, and they will show you what to do with them. Is so. there a cost involved? For the Family History Center? Uh, no. Well, for the DNA 
if you wanted to do something, like put something together for your dad. So if you brought in your results and said, so here's my DNA test, like how would somebody help you compile that and what would the cost yeah. be? The great thing about the Family History Center is everything is, is free. They're oh, wow. like there okay. to the help you thing. and to teach you. So you're gonna have to pay for the DNA test okay. to get the okay. testing done. But then you can go in and they'll help you like, look at it and break it down and and like pull the fun information mm -hmm. like are you 12 percent uh german or 20 percent okay. portuguese okay. like that type of fun thing and if you're looking for other family they can help you with like dna matches and things okay. like that what for like age group because with summer coming i'm thinking teens Young kids, yeah. like what kind of ages are you like? Oh, eight or older, tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, well, everybody is welcome at the okay. Family the family History Center. Um, you can bring in like your Cub Scout groups, youth groups, um, like I'm getting a group together from my neighborhood, like with my daughter's friends to go in. Okay. Family Search has a lot of like, you know, fun, like, when you hear family history, you usually don't think fun, right? Oh, well, and I picture <laughs> indexing, and, and I know it's yeah. much more than that, but what do, mm -hmm. What do people come in and mainly do, I guess? Or what are some of the highlights that they do there yeah. besides indexing? Yeah. <laughs> you don't always, we're not going to force you to index. Okay. They have like a, like a high speed photo scanner. So if you inherited mm -hmm. like a billion photos from your grandparents mm -hmm. or even your own photos, you can go in and use that. Wow. And then we can teach you how to like upload and, and scan them. Oh, and that would be nice. Yeah, so you can share them on social media, you can upload them to Family Search so other people can have them. Um, let's see, what else? You can do all kinds Is of things. Is that the most popular thing people do? Or, or what do you think? I, I think it's a mixture. I think people Everyone like the scanner. Has. I think just coming in and doing, um, like doing a group class, like if you have a Relief Society group mm -hmm. okay. or like a women's group, um, we've had a lot of those. Okay. So. And then yeah. I noticed that you have a large collection of the Icelandic records. I'm yeah. super interested. How does that connect with Spanish Fork City and why do we have that? Uh, well, I was reading a little bit up on this before okay. now, but we were the first Icelandic settlement like in the United States. And so like we've all seen that monument like as you go up to the junior high, mm -hmm. we have like our little lighthouse there. And so our Family History Center has one of the largest um, records like of Icelandic records here in the US. So Isn't that interesting yeah. that they would come this way and land in Spanish Fork? Do you have any Icelandic DNA? I don't know. <laughs> I have never taken a DNA test. What if I do? <laughs> but I didn't come from Spanish Fork. I came from Provo, but maybe some of my ancestors yeah. lived yeah. here. Right. And mm -hmm. that's what drew me back to mm -hmm. Spanish Ooh. Fork. I've got to come in. <laughs> and that was one of the fun things. Like when I went in today, there was this like little huddle of women and they were looking at how they were related to famous people. They're like, mm -hmm. oh, well, Disney's my cousin or you know yeah so you can kind of check out like was I related to a founder of Spanish Fork you okay. can look at fun things like that too. I'm, I'm looking forward to the stage of life to do that I justify not doing it because I'm busy now or bef right. prior to this stage I justified it because I had little kids mm -hmm. but one day I mean I find it fascinating fascinating it's so cool to learn about ancestors and hear their story. Well, the yeah. one takeaway I had last time that you were here is that you were saying that even in the, the pickup line at school or something, sometimes even when you're on Instagram or something, that you even considered a bit of that family history sometimes. And oh, yes. be because of what what is your role at the Family History Center? Oh, I'm the social media right. um, the social media manager. <laughs> okay. So so we have the physical location, and you can totally come in and talk to the experts and use the computers and the records. But like I said last time, mm -hmm. there's so much you can do like in your phone on your phone in right. five minutes. So even exactly. though connections sometimes. So I, yeah. I'm even thinking I love about that. sometimes too. Yeah. I'm like I'm doing family history. Yes, we are. Yes. My Instagram oh. post I'm, last yeah, year were family I'm history. history. I'm Looking at the connections, so I, yeah. I do love that, and uh, there's always time for maybe even just a little bit. So mm -hmm. we appreciate the knowledge yes. share and, and taking the time. And thank you. Yeah. We want to see you down there too, though. So hopefully you're not always behind your phone just oh, yes. updating us. <laughs> oh, I'm there as a patron. I've been there twice since awesome. last week. So okay, yeah, I'll be there. <laughs> Well, best of luck. Yep. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you so much. All right, coming up next on Studio Chatter, how can you make a picnic better? We'll talk about that next.